All right, I just got my GoPro on and I'm gonna walk back to the hole here. I'm gonna set a tip down up and uh, hopefully catch some perch on that. The goal today is just to kind of figure out where they perch, hopefully get into some crappies. But yeah, the goal is perch. You can see I got two in there right now. So I'm gonna set the tip down up. It's kind of crude, but it works. Thanks to my, shout out to my buddy Austin, who made these for me. Uh, he made these bases, and then he even gave me this pole. So <laughs> thanks, thanks to you, man. I'm gonna be able to use it today on the ice and uh, hopefully get some fish. So, just fold up here, a couple of wing nuts, tighten that down, and uh, yeah, just like that. Have this guy set up right about there, I think. Yeah, perfect. Now, grab my vest on. See here. Better check the ice. Yeah, like that. Well, three and a half, three at least. Maybe four. A nice minnow. I'm gonna hit this minnow right in the tail area. Like that. Check him out how he swims. Looks good to me. Now if the fish bite, how a tip down works is if a fish bites, the pole will just go like that. And uh, run over, yank it up. That's it, that's how a tip down works. So if you guys don't know, now you know. Tip down going guys. Tip down going. It's like halfway down. Is it gonna go or what? Just fish. Oh got him guys, got him. Oh man. This is a oh ho, ho. holy crap. This is a nice perch guys. Man. Look at that. Oh, just popped out. Okay. Chill. Relax. Got kind of a mark here but look at that that is what we're here for boys that's what we want that mississippi gold <laughs> oh yeah first fish on that tip down thanks austin it works man it works so i'm just gonna throw this guy over here on the side and uh being that this reel here is like one of those old school ones where you just tighten that screw this doesn't move and uh, basically my depth is set so I don't have to worry about checking depth or nothing again once I set it it's good all I gotta do is just rebate and fire it back down so I'm just using fat heads on the uh, tip down here nothing fancy some guys will use like uh, rosy reds too that's another thing that's pretty good on the Mississippi here for perch um, and other guys would just use like shiners or crappy minnows. They all work. It all works. Here's another mark. Come on. Oh, that guy hammered it. Oh, I can see him. That's a good one. There we go. Good one. 
Okay, got it. Much better, much better. Nice. Ooh. Kill. Nice kill. There we go. Nice little gill there. I am going to let you go. Maybe towards the end of the day, I might keep a couple, but that'd be a nice one to keep right there. Good size, but I'm not keeping them right now. See you later. As you can tell, I'm sure you can hear the, uh, the highway. I'm not very far off the road. So a lot of times I got people ask me, you know, where do you go fishing? You know, where are some spots? Well, spots change every year on the backwaters because the river changes every year. So, because the river changes every year, what you have to do as an angler is adapt. And uh, there are some tried and true spots that, you know, usually always produce fish. But that's something you learn as you go and experiment and just try. So if you're trying to look for, you know, if you want to, ooh, big mark. Ooh, right there. Holy crap. Oh, this is a big perch, guys. Nice perch. Holy crap. Whew. I wish you guys could see the fish. It's like dancing off to the side and stuff. And see him. There we go. Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's a nice perch. Right there, that's what I'm here for. Big perch like that. Um, but, okay, so, man, it's in there. Okay, look at that, that's a nice fish. Okay, so, if you're looking for spots and you're trying to figure out how to fish on the backwaters, my biggest tip is just to be mobile, okay? Um, drive around, there's a lot of public water down here. What you wanna do is drive around and um, bring an auger with you, bring a bucket, travel light. The biggest thing is travel light. Drill, fish an area that you, you think looks good. If nothing, then keep moving. Eventually you'll find some fish. And uh, once you do, you know, it's lights out. So that's my biggest tip is uh, just kind of be mobile. Be mobile, travel light. And sometimes it will take you a full day to find a spot that's producing fish. You know, a lot of times you'll find spots where you'll catch fish right away and then it'll just die off. Um, and it doesn't mean that that spot's done for. It just means that maybe, you know, the fish have shut off. So, oh, what I got here? Just a little guy. But uh, you always want to just keep checking spots, checking spots, you know, find new spots all the time. So, have an open mind. Little guy, up here. see you later. Okay. There we go. Just a little guy. Dang. Thanks for playing, but a little bit too small. Being at this whole bay, ooh, I got a bite already. Ooh, come on. Ooh, got it. Not a big one either. Jeez, I just put that down. Skinny guy. I let him go. I didn't even see that mark. It just was there. Jeez. Oh, and I got a down. And I got a tip down. Like that. I think he's still on there. Ah. Oh my gosh. Almost lost my pole. Dang. <laughs> Oh crap, man. 
Oh. Dang. I don't care about the fish. I don't want to lose this tip down. Dang. <laughs> okay. At least I'm not wet. Too wet. Just a little wet. <laughs> That's funny. Just about to grab it and then it goes flying down and like, oh crap. It's now or never, I gotta grab it. No fish, but geez. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's put another minnow down. Oh, tip down, guys, tip down. It was gone. nice perch guys it's a nice perch oh yeah buddy that's a nice perch that's a nice perch right there boys I mean look at that <laughs> nice perch so there's the top of the bucket can you guys see so I mean, it's a nice perch. Okay guys, um, my GoPro battery died earlier, so I switched batteries. It's been about, I don't know, an hour since uh, my GoPro battery died, so there was a little bit of action um, since, since I stopped recording. I figure I might as well just uh, Take advantage of the bite window and keep fishing while the bite the fishing was good so that's what I did um, but I am actually almost limited out for perch for the day uh, they changed they changed the regulations last well this year basically for uh, panfish on the Mississippi uh, River so now you can only keep uh, 15 perch and 15 bluegills and then 15 crappies so I'm about there I got one more left to go and then I got my perch the limit of perch Ooh, fish Is this the last one he's fighting good he's fighting like a perch no perch but it's not the one <laughs> so uh, one more perch and I'm done for perch and then I'll probably try to go find some uh, some bluegills and crappies so it's been a really great morning out on the ice here early ice early ice backwaters perch so this is this is as, this is as good as it gets I mean can't complain so it was a cloudy overcast this morning and it's cleared up since so I think that kind of slowed the fishing down a little bit um, but the fish are still here I mean there there's nowhere else they're gonna go so just got to stick it out eventually they'll bite but yeah one more and I'm done for perch that'll probably be the end of the show Oh, oh man, my tip down is wet. I think it's quite snapped. Oh man, it got snapped. Like hard. Whew. Usually I notice there's a lot of these little like, you know, yearling pike in here or whatever. Tiny guys that are holed up in here. And when you watch the tip down, they, you see it just jerk violently. And then it goes back to like a resting state. Usually that indicates like a pike. And I know if you've ever watched like underwater footage of pike and how they eat, they always like, oh fish, dang it. They always like jolt at the, uh, the bait and just attack it. Oh man, hit. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta be 
fish on there. Give her. Oh yeah, I got him. Nice perch. Oh, great way to end the day right there. On that note, great perch. Oh, right there, guys. That's a nice perch. Not a giant, but I mean, there's my hand. So I mean, these these this size is pretty common on the backwaters right here, and this is like your eater size right here. So that's what we're after today. Um, there's definitely opportunity to catch big ones, like one and a half, two pounders, but um, I'm good with this. Looks like somebody caught this guy before, but he's going home with me today, guys. So that's the wrap. That's a wrap for my uh, show today. That's my 15th perch right there, guys. I'll show you my bucket real quick. There it is. So. 15 perch in there ready to go home so hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned a little bit and uh, if you guys are planning to get out on the ice just be safe bring the proper uh, gear hope you guys enjoyed